Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today, we are going to be doing Arrow, Season 4, Episode 5. And we're doing Episode Haunted. So, um, we start off with Sarah running amongst through the city. And she rescues a girl, then attacks her, but escapes when the cops show up. And Quinn saw her and immediately was... People know who's like, and then we have Felicity. Oh Lord! Then we have Oliver has a political strategist. Um, blanking on his name, I'll remember it a little bit. I want to say it's, I want to say it like Andrew. I want to say. Anyway, he tells him to distance himself away from Laurel and just the Lance family. Just stay away from him because it's. Doesn't look good if it's on, you know, it just doesn't look good politically. And then we have a flashback flashback scene where Constantine has his intro. So this is the first time we've seen Constantine in the series. And then we go back to the present where Sarah is on the loose. And then we have Felicity gets Curtis to clean up the file. And then we cut to Dark, asks Lance to do something. Um, basically, he wants to, well, I'll delve, I'll delve version of that when we get to that scene. But he tells him he has a task for him to do. Sophia and Oliver are training. Then Felicity gets, um, <laughs> the Felicity <laughs> literally gets people over the intercom. So she goes, this is Felicity. Or she's like, this is your overlord. Come to the conference room now. So they have like a like a so they have a PA system in the, in the um, new layer, which I think is so funny. And uh, then we have Laurel gets to Sarah, and then Oliver sees her, but then she escapes. And then Oliver fusses her out, <laughs> Laurel out. It's like, how could you do this? Why'd you do this? What are you thinking? And then we have uh, the go to flashback scene where Constantine uh, kidnaps Oliver, and they leave and go somewhere. And then we go to the present day where Laurel and Diggle talk. Um, talk gets him um, and gets him as backup. And then we have a listening moment, and then we get. Uh, then they start to connect the dots between the victims because at first there was like really no uh, nothing really in common with them except they all look like Thea. So uh, Sarah then goes after her, and um, but Thea managed to get Sarah the slip, and so Thea's in, in the hospital because she got badly hurt while fighting her. Then uh, Thea tells the truth about the bloodlust and how like. Like, she wants to get rid of the person that killed her, or was supposed to kill her, and that's why it's a goal, which she can't do, because Oliver killed her. And Thea was the one that killed Sarah, even though it wasn't her fault, but she's still living, so that's why Sarah's going after Thea. Then Laurel talks to Oliver, and she's mad at him, and he's equally as mad at her, so... <laughs> And then we have Washak scene where they find an underground chamber. And then we have the present day um, of doing his errand with Diggle. And then we have Thea and Laurel talk about the bloodlust. And then Diggle sees his bro's name uh, while uh, Lance is doing the errand. It's so basically what they did is they went to this um, this building that has like, a bunch of files that needs to be deleted. So... Uh, Lance puts in the hard drive and he sees his brother's name on there. Diggle does. And so, um, but they complete the task and they have to get out of there. Uh, but th before they can do that, the alarm goes off and so Lance poses as a, well, he does his job as a cop and knocks out uh, on Diggle. And then, um, there you go. And then um, we have Sarah goes to the hospital to um, get Thea again and also kills her again. But then she escapes through the window. Then we have a flashback scene where Constantine talks about magic. And the underground place where they're going to, only the pure heart can go in. 
So um, he needs to get an item and save him and saves him. So, and oh wait, so Oliver goes in there anyway because he's also genetically pure heart and saves Constantine from a booby trap. And then we have the present day where Dark tells he um, tells Dark that is, he's done, but he wants to know about Andy. This was Lance talking to Dark. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, Dark says he was like an eager beaver. He, like he was growing too much for his own good. So um, that's why they got rid of him. And then um, we have where Thea sets a trap and it works and says TA versus Sarah, Team Arrow. I like doing abbreviations. It's hard for me to remember sometimes because I'm such a forgetful. <laughs> and so, um, but Oliver tranks her with a trank arrow. And so he can get the soul back and gets Constantine to help. And so they prepare for the ritual. And it's kind of like a funny, um, funny interaction dealing with, um, Team Arrow and Constantine. It's, it's just a funny moment. It's, it's like, if I know you have all these pretty girls, I would be him much sooner. That's our British accent, and I'm very sorry. And so, um, they prepare for the ritual, and they get all the ingredients and stuff, and so, uh, uh, Laurel and Oliver go with Constantine to get Sarah's soul. And it's actually pretty interesting the way they do that. Um, but basically, back in Nana Prabhat, per se, and so they had to rescue Sarah's soul from the Lazarus pit, which is holding her captive. So they have to go and get that. And so they go through all these, um, these um, tunnels in different places, and they eventually find her, and it works. But they have really good fight scenes between the um, defenders of the Lazarus pit. I guess that's what you would call them. And so, but it works, and then um, they get a guide, and they use the lighter to get to Sarah, and um, then they get her soul, and then Sarah is fine in the real world, and as they're leaving, um, Oliver asks Constantine, do you know about Dark, and he's, he's a little freaked out by it, and for Constantine to be freaked out about something is, like, ugh, not good. <laughs> And he tells him, like, uh, no, you should just leave town. Just leave town. And uh, then we have the flashback where the orb of Horus is just what um, they were looking for. And then Constantine removes the pretty part because Oliver needs something to carry back to, um, what's his name? Source of the R. Riker. And, um, it's like, now we know how he got his tattoo, because um, basically, it's supposed to be like for protection, so basically he took the tattoo on his like arm right, right here, and went over with the spell with the rest of the um, uh, the artifact, and he gets transferred onto Oliver's side of bleak. So, that's how we know he got that tattoo. Then you have the present day, where Laurel and Oliver talk, and then Lance gives Diggle and his file, and then we have Curtis has uh, too much energy drink, and turns out they he got the code to work, and uh, Ray is alive still. So, and they um, same on a video monitor, I believe. Yeah. So that's how we leave the episode. So it was a really good episode. I'm gonna say uh, I'll give this a A. I won't give it a plus because I feel like there was like a lot of instructions on how to do the ritual and I thought they could spend at least a couple minutes or at least five minutes trying to find all the ingredients and stuff and actually I'm going out and trying to find them. So I'm pretty sure some of them are pretty obscure so I don't know how, like, oh we have all this already. So I feel like they could have gone into detail about that a little bit more but that's just my personal opinion. So um, that's really my only gripe about this episode, everything else was great about it. So. Um, Everything else was really good. So that's going to be the end of this video. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below if you agree or disagree with me. And I'll see you on my next episode. And I want you all to have a super awesome day. Bye, everybody.